All right, everybody, we had a no cool call on this York rooftop unit here. And upon inspection, first thing I found was belt shot. It was just loose as can be and hanging around. Place the belt. Then come over here and I had found an HS1 fault showing on this board here. Came over here. Something's going on with our heating limits. Right here, this is corroded, needs to be replaced. This was flashing for flashes at the time it was. Which, let me switch open. Tested that out, proved to be bad. Now, with all that being said, what does that matter? It's cooling season, you know, why? What does that have to do with anything? Well, you have a wire right here going from this board on the L-turn. Comes up here to the top of this board, yellow wire right back there for a limit. What that does is it will shut down operations of everything if you're showing a default. So you come here, you go down, let's get back to the main screen. You come here, you go down to commissions, options, second from the last, so it's all the way down here. Some of these have it, some of it doesn't. So you have a cool during heat limit fault. You can change that to where, yes, it'll cool during a heat limit. That does not mean that your heating will operate still. That still needs to be replaced. Like I said, we're in cooling season, so I needed to get it to where it's cooling. So now we have cooling because we had changed that setting to yes. If you have any of the same issues, HS1, just keep that in mind. Check and see if you can change that and then go get your limit and get it replaced.